From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealer Sports Desk, here's Sports Director Grant Pugh. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. An exciting day of Terre Haute South of the 2021 First Financial Wabash Valley Classic draw. Remember, we had a tourney one season ago, but it was not the official classic coaches and ADs on hand at South today. Who's this nerd? I had the pleasure of drawing the teams for the 2021 Classic Bracket. Let's break it down for you, though. Get those brackets out. Game one starting at 10, 30 on December 21st. How about this? Terre Haute South, no, Terre Haute North, and Northview going big or going home, right? What an opener we have there. Game two featuring the Park Heritage Wolves and the KZ Westfield Warriors. Let's check in with these head coaches. Got to love North and Northview right out of the gate, especially Coach Wolfley. We cherish opportunities to play against great competition. That's something that we don't back away. And uh, Coach Wolfley does a great job. They're talented. Um, and uh, we're going to have our hands full. But it's okay uh, for us to test ourselves. We're, we'll welcome that challenge. I'll accept full responsibility for this year, Wolfley. I give you full responsibility for this. I hope it works out for us. Thanks. This could be definitely record-breaking crowds just because of the fact that we're a year removed from having fans. And, you know, there's so much excitement and passion that goes with this tournament and to have everybody back and you know there's a lot of good teams you know up on the bracket behind me it's, it's like a happening in Terre Haute you know, in the last you know I was here for the very first games you know long long time ago now it seems like and um, and it has it, become it kind of gets bigger and bigger each year you know more more people Games three and four round out the top part of the bracket. It is Terre Haute South and Sullivan. What an opener for these two as well, followed by West Vigo and Shackamack. So all three Vigo County schools in the top part of the bracket. Here's the coaches. We finished that top portion. Very good disciplined team. Uh, certainly uh, they have a lot back and uh, their guard play as well as their interior presence um, is, is top notch. So we got a work cut out for us and, um, you know, they got a great coach and Coach Moore. I've been knowing him for, for since I was playing. So um, going to be fun, uh, going to be exciting uh, just for, for all the teams in it. It's going to be great that the fans are going to be back there. I think that's one of the biggest things is just the atmosphere that the tournament provides. It just makes it exciting for the entire community. We're really excited just to be back in it. Um, you know, last year we were unable to come up here because of COVID reasons. You know, we were on a quarantine. Um, so in that aspect, we're just ready to be back up here and compete in the tournament. Let's move to the bottom portion of the bracket. Greencastle and Cloverdale, two rivals to start the 4 p.m. session on December 27th. Remember, the Tiger Cubs won the holiday tourney one season ago, followed by Robinson and Edgewood at 5.30 on the 27th. It's just a great tournament, and we're really excited to be here again. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun and a different environment than what we got to play in last year. Really, uh, we had an opportunity to, to win the tournament last year and would have loved to have done it in front of fans. Uh, we're going to get that opportunity to play in front of fans this year, so we're looking forward to it. I think you're going to see uh, the level of play. I think the, the guys are going to take it to a different level, even this year with, with the fans and the juices flowing and everything. So it's going to be great to, to get back to uh, seeing fans here and, you know, just hearing that buzz. And well, I mean, our first possible two matchups are teams that we don't play on a regular basis, and that's kind of why we like to come over here and, and um, you know, play teams that we don't typically see. And it's a, usually a typical different style of play than what we do in Illinois. And um, so that's always fun for us. Ultimately, you have to use this as an opportunity to get ready for the state tournament. It's that mid-year uh, test for you to see how you stack up against some of the best teams in the area. Here's the last couple of games. Bloomfield Cardinals coach J.B. Neal back in the tourney. They will score off with South Romania at 7 on night number 1, followed by the Marshall Lions and Linton Miners in the nightcap, 8.30, December 27th. Here is our final head coaches. As a player, you, you have to love it. As a coach, it, uh, it kind of kills you. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've always brought teams over here and felt like when we were done, they, they got better because of it. And uh, it is four, three or four days of good basketball. In the last year, not having a whole lot of people in the crowd and just trying to have to create your own energy, I don't think that will be a problem this year. I think it will be uh, the stands will be packed, and I think it will be energized. It means a lot to the kids. It means a lot to the fans. The fans love it. The town loves it. Um, it's good for us. It's good competition. And, you know, it wasn't fun at all. You know, basketball over in Illinois was definitely a lot different, and so, but we got through it, and here we are. You want to play four games. You don't, you don't want to go up here and play three. So you want to get your fourth game in, and you want to learn something different every game. And you know, you know, some someday we need to win this, but we go, you know, we got to win game one first. Thanks to the coaches and Omar for helping today. That's a wrap for sports. Four news to come after.